the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon video. In this video, I will be showing every single dragon that was alive during the Dance of the Dragons. Now, House of the Dragon showrunner said, we will only see nine of these in the very first season. Since we're going to be meeting so many new dragons, I thought I should make this video right before the season begins. Not only will this give you a good idea of who each of these dragons are, but I think everyone should also know who is riding them during the Dance of the Dragons. Since I am making the video before House of the Dragon airs its first episode, I do not have official images for all of these dragons. I might end up showing an image of the same dragon more than once. Now as far as we know, the Valyrians were the first ones who mastered the art of raising dragons, and they used them as their weapons of war to establish their own massive empire, the Valyrian Freehold. After the Doom of Valyria, however, the only dragons known to have survived were five dragons on Dragonstone. Those five dragons belonged to House Targaryen, who had brought them from Valyria when they went into exile. Now, four of those dragons eventually died on Dragonstone, leaving only Balerion the Black Dread. However, the other dragons left eggs behind, and from those eggs hatched the dragons Vagar and Maraxis. And with these three dragons, Aegon and his sisters would bring the Seven Kingdoms to their knees. Over the course of 150 years, the Targaryens rode their dragons as a symbol of their power and as a means of transport. This will be on full display in House of the Dragon. Now, unfortunately, we most likely will not see Balerion the Black Dread while he was alive. From everything we've seen in the teaser trailer so far, it looks like we will only see his massive skull inside the Red Keep of King's Landing. The last rider of Balerion was Viserys Targaryen in 93 AC. By then, Balerion was already hundreds of years old. After Viserys mounted him, they flew around King's Landing. Although Viserys later confided to his father that he had originally intended to fly Balerion to Dragonstone. However, fearing the dragon lacked the strength to do so, Viserys had opted otherwise. Balerion later died in the year of 94 AC, decades before the start of the Dance of the Dragons. Viserys Targaryen would never mount another dragon again. After Balerion died, Vagar became the last of the three Targaryen dragons who had fought in the Conquest. This also left Vagar as the largest living dragon, and when the Dance of the Dragons begins, she is nearly Balerion's size. Vagar was the hardened survivor of a hundred battles, and it's said that no living dragon could match her size or ferocity. Now, as far as we know, Vagar is bronze with greenish-blue highlights and bright green eyes. One of her known riders was Lady Lena Valerion, daughter of Lord Corlys Valerion and Rhaenys Targaryen. Unfortunately, Lady Lena will die very early on in House of the Dragon, and following Lena's funeral on Driftmark, Aemond One-Eye Targaryen will mount Vagar as his own dragon. During the run of House of the Dragon, we will see Aemond and Vagar fight in a number of incredible battles against different dragons. Vermithor, who is a fearsome beast, is also known as the Bronze Fury, a male dragon once ridden by King Jaehaerys Targaryen. Vermithor became riderless when Jaehaerys died in 103 AC. Now, throughout the reign of Viserys Targaryen, Vermithor had no new rider. He would remain on the island of Dragonstone where he would make his lair in one of the smoking caverns of the Dragon Mont. And this is where he would stay until after the start of the Dance of the Dragons. Eventually, it was decided that Rhaenyra would need more dragon riders if she were to win back the Iron Throne from Alicent and her son Aegon. Now, there were many men who attempted to mount Vermithor, but the only one he would bend his neck for was a blacksmith's bastard who went by the name of Hugh Hammer. We will see Hugh Hammer ride Vermithor into battle during House of the Dragon. Silverwing is a silvery she-dragon of House Targaryen. She was ridden by Queen Alysanne Targaryen, the wife of the old King Jaehaerys. Now, Silverwing was considered somewhat docile and friendly to strangers. After the death of Alysanne, Silverwing also went back to Dragonstone, where she would make her lair in one of the smoking caverns of the Dragonmont alongside Vermithor. This is also another dragon that would eventually need another rider once it was decided that Rhaenyra would need more dragons on her side. Ultimately, Silverwing accepted a dragon seed man-in-arms known as Ulf the White as her new rider. 
we will also see him ride Silverwing into battle during the Dance of the Dragons. Now, Dreamfire is a slender she-dragon who is mostly blue, but also has some silvery accents. This dragon was born during the reign of Aegon the Conqueror. In the year of 35 AC, long before the Dance of the Dragons, a young Reyna Targaryen mounted her. Now, what's interesting about Dreamfire is in the year of 54 AC, Reyna's best friend, Elisa Farman, had stolen three of her dragon eggs from Dragonstone's hatcheries before fleeing over to Essos. There are many a Song of Ice and Fire fans who believe these three dragon eggs are the ones who ended up with Daenerys Targaryen. So these three dragon eggs very well could have been Drogon, Viserion, and Rhaegal. Now after Reyna died in 73 AC, Dreamfire made her lair in the Dragon Pit of King's Landing. During the reign of Viserys Targaryen, Dreamfire would eventually bond with his and Alicent's daughter, Helena Targaryen. This is who we will most likely see flying on Dreamfire in House of the Dragon. Maelys has scarlet scales on her wings, for which she received her alias, the Red Queen. Her crest and horns were bright as copper. In 75 AC, Maelys was considered to be one of the swiftest dragons in Westeros, easily outflying Caraxes and Vagar. However, at the start of the Dance of the Dragons, Maelys was said to have grown lazy, but was still fearsome when she needed to be. In the year of 87 AC, Maelys was mounted by Rhaenys Targaryen, wife of Lord Corlys Valerion. We will definitely see Rhaenys fly Maelys into battle during the Dance of the Dragons. In fact, we will see her fight more than one dragon in one hell of a battle in the sky. Caraxes, also known as the Bloodworm, is ridden by the one and only Daemon Targaryen. As you've already seen in all of the official photos and videos, this dragon is red, big, and lean. In battle, he is formidable, fearsome, and very experienced. During the Dance of the Dragons, Caraxes is about half the size of the massive Vagar. We will see Daemon use this dragon in battle during the War for the Stepstones in the very first season of House of the Dragon. By the end of House of the Dragon, however, we will see Daemon and Caraxes fight in one of the most incredible dragon battles George R. R. Martin has ever written. Now, Cyrax is a she-dragon who is ridden solely by Rhaenyra Targaryen. She named her dragon after a goddess of Valyria. Like we've already seen in many of the official photos and videos, Cyrax has golden yellow dragon scales. She's also very big and formidable, though maybe not as fierce as Daemon's dragon. Rhaenyra was able to mount this dragon at the very young age of 7 years old, making it very obvious that Rhaenyra was eager to fully embrace and harness her own dragon blood. We will see them on full display all throughout this first season of House of the Dragon. Now that I've shown you some of the oldest and largest living dragons during the Dance of the Dragons, let me show you some of the younger ones who are still large enough to be ridden. Sea Smoke is a silver gray dragon who is of fighting size during the dance, but still a young dragon and nimbler in the air than his older brothers. Sea Smoke is a dragon ridden at first by Sir Laenor Valerion, the son of Lord Corlys Valerion and Rhaenys Targaryen, and later ridden by the dragon seed Adam of Hall. This is another dragon who would make its lair on Dragonstone after the death of its rider. It would remain there for nearly a decade, until they would eventually need to find it another rider. Like the other dragons living on Dragonstone, most of those who would attempt to mount them would die before even forming a bond. In fact, this dragon sea smoke would even kill one of Rhaenyra Targaryen's Queen's Guard before letting someone mount it again. Later, the 15-year-old Adam of Hall was able to ride sea smoke, however. We will see them enter the Dance of the Dragons with fire and blood. Now, Sunfire has gleaming golden scales that shine like gold in the sunlight. Even his dragon flame is golden as well. Sunfire, also known as Sunfire the Golden, is ridden by the future King Aegon, the second of his name. Now, based on what Archmaester Gildane has said, Sunfire is the most gorgeous dragon ever seen in the known realm. Big and heavy, the splendid Sunfire was a formidable fighter despite his young age. We will see Aegon fly this dragon into battle. In fact, we should see them fight in one of the most epic dragon battles in House of the Dragon. If we do see what happened in Fire and Blood, I can guarantee it will not let you down. Tessarion, also known as the Blue Queen, is a she-dragon. Although her wings are dark blue, the scales on her belly are that of bright beaten copper. What's really interesting about this dragon is her flames are blue as well. By the start of the Dance of the Dragons, Tessarion is of fighting size, 
although she is the youngest dragon of Fighting White for the side of King Aegon Targaryen, the second of his name. We will see this dragon bond with Daron Targaryen, the youngest son of Viserys Targaryen and Alicent Hightower. They should be seen in some of the fighting as well. Now, Vermax is a dragon ridden by Jacaris Valerion, son of Rhaenyra Targaryen. There isn't a whole lot written about this dragon, but one thing we do know is it was thriving and growing larger every year. It's also said that Vermax would get angry if it was ever near the ice or snow. Now, when the Dance of the Dragons begins, Vermax is large enough for Jacaris to fly. We will see him fly in the battle, but one thing I will say is, this might not be the dragon you want to fall in love with. Arax is another dragon we don't know that much about. It is said that this dragon might be white with yellow flame, with golden eyes and a golden chest. At the beginning of the dance, Arax was mature enough to be ridden, although he was very young and still growing. This dragon will be mounted by Lucaris Valerion, another one of Rhaenyra's sons. And I will say this, Lucaris will be its only rider. Now, Taraxis is another dragon who was thriving and growing every year. By the Dance of the Dragons, he had recently been able to fly long distances with its rider Joffrey Valerion, but he was not big enough for battle yet. This dragon will ultimately die during the sacking of the Dragon Pit in King's Landing. Alright, now the rest of these dragons are hatchlings who were not big enough to ride at the beginning of the Dance of the Dragons. Moon Dancer is the slender green she-dragon who will be ridden by the young Bela Targaryen, daughter of Daemon Targaryen. When the dance begun, Moon Dancer was not large enough yet to hold the 13-year-old Bela, but she was able to mount her only a year later. Now it's said that when she mounted Moon Dancer, the dragon was no larger than a warhorse and weighed even less. Stormcloud was a young male dragon who bonded with Aegon the Younger, the son of Daemon and Rhaenyra Targaryen. This dragon should not be seen fighting in the Dance of the Dragons. Morgul was a young dragon bound to but never ridden by Jahara Targaryen. This dragon dies before ever being ridden. And the dragon Shrykros was a young she-dragon bound to Jaehaerys Targaryen during the Dance of the Dragons. Now this Jaehaerys Targaryen is the son of King Aegon the second of his name. It's not the old King Jaehaerys who you might be thinking of. Shrykos is another dragon who was never ridden during the dance. As you can see, there are a lot of dragons who are still alive during the Dance of the Dragons, and according to George R. R. Martin and House of the Dragon showrunners, we should see 17 of these dragons in the show. Nine of them will be in the very first season. In a recent interview, Miguel Sapochnik said we will start to see the wild dragons on Dragonstone in the second season, assuming that it does get the green light from HBO. Now those three wild dragons living on Dragonstone are Grey Ghost, Sheep Stealer, and the Cannibal. Since I did make this video before House of the Dragons first episode aired, some of the names you heard in the video might be different in the show. Some of the characters who rode the dragons might be different in the show as well. Everything I said in this video is based on what it says in A Song of Ice and Fire and Fire and Blood. Now this is what really will separate House of the Dragon from Game of Thrones. With this many living and fighting dragons in Westeros at the same time, we will finally see House Targaryen at the height of their power. Unlike Game of Thrones, where we only saw three living dragons, House of the Dragons is set during a time when the dragons rain from the sky. I want to know which dragons you're excited to see the most. For me, I would have to say it's Vagar, the incredible beast who is a veteran of over 100 battles. I know I cannot wait to see him dance over the god's eye, so leave me your thoughts down below. I want to know what dragon you like the most. Also, make sure you subscribe now so you can be the first to know whenever I release all of my new videos during the season. I will be making several videos every week during the whole season. I hope I'll see all of you here for those as well. As always, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Have a great day everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.